when I started looking for jobs, I was very hesitant uh, to uh, work here because it's a startup and it's been going on for two years. And um, but it, come, it came as a surprise when I uh, start when doing the first day itself because uh, the, my CEO, Mr. Arun Rajeshwar, was very helpful, and the, the uh, co-workers here are very. Um, uh, Amiable and uh, they helped me in every way. Uh, when I was nervous, uh, even to talk with them because they were all very experienced, uh, they uh, came came in very friendly to me, which was very surprising. And uh, the work culture here is um, very uh, um, settling, and uh, the, the time, the time, uh, the chillness, uh, everything uh, was very comfortable for me, and. Uh, before uh, work, before uh, thinking of working anywhere, uh, I used to be very nervous. But now, uh, when I'm working here, if you notice, uh, I wake up very confidently. So to go my office, I'm very excited. Uh, the work, uh, even uh, on Saturdays, which is a non-working day, I used to come here because I love here very much. And uh, I want to thank uh, on behalf of my teammate also to Rajiv sir. Mr. Rajiv is a founder, um, chief innovation officer or uh, chief uh, security officer of Finoys. It's a first uh, banking company or banking sector company in uh, Kanyakumari district. So, such an innovator, winner of uh, uh, top ten startup in Chennai Next Startup Challenge 2018. Uh, so, over to you, sir. Again, uh, my first question comes. That was a try kind of question. The very first question comes as an entrepreneur. How do you look forward to the future of entrepreneurship? How, how do you mean? I mean, the way I mean as, as an entrepreneur, you have your vision. Yes. You are growing. You have a vision about the growth of the business, or how you need to improve the process or systems or whatever you do. So, what is the vision on that? Simply, I will cut short the question one. What is the vision? So, every entrepreneur is a problem solver. So, you should solve the problem in the industry or a market. Uh, if you solve the problem, you'll grow. So, that's the key. We are solving the problem of digitizing financial institutions and uh, small banks and financial institutions uh, to a greater extent. So, we want our solution to be available in all the banks, small banks and financial institutions over the next 10 years. That's what our, that's what my vision is. Two sentences about Rajiv Rajiv. Rajiv. I don't Rajiv. 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 So my uh, myself, I'm very passionate in entrepreneurship. That's the only key thing. Passion drives. Uh, no matter what happens, I, mean, I, uh, I keep on pursuing what I do. Uh, that's what I never give up. Kind of attitude. Optimistic person uh, in, at all times. Fun loving, so always whatever happens, being happy to proceed ahead. That's what. How did Finoys have started, sir? Finoys started uh, with a small question from my uncle in 2013 uh, what is financial inclusion? That was me in idea. So that triggered the idea. I researched uh, about uh, financial inclusion. I saw 
an opportunity to market. That most of the financial institutions in India are uh, completely running on uh, paper books or spreadsheets. So I thought, let me let me come up with a solution for the market. Uh, there are, even though there are companies outside the market, still we have a uh, 60 to 70 percent chance of uh, capturing the market. So that's what we have. To do. Sir, as an entrepreneur, as a startup founder, what is your passion behind Finoys? Passion is nothing but this. We are solving the problem. That's what uh, uh, when customer says that uh, your solution has improved our company's uh, performance to greater sixty percent, or uh, uh, we have reduced uh, the human resources uh, because your software can solve a lot of bigger problems. Uh, your, your software helps me in uh, managing the decision making with your innovative dashboard in your software. So that's 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 what the key uh, thing I think. As an entrepreneur, as a company, as a, as a Finoys technologist, you know, what big idea you have in your future that this is going to be a destructive technology or this is going to be a destructive market breaking phenomenon? What is your plan? Uh, we, we, are, we are working on something in two phases uh, that will change, I believe, uh, on the longer run, but still now it's, it's on the uh, research phase. So how much do you believe that competition in a startup ecosystem is important or what unique value you can offer against your competitors? Competition is always good. Without competition, we will never uh, grow to a great, uh, great extent. We, sh- we cannot be among the any market. So uh, we, we, we welcome competition and we are ready to go ahead with bigger uh, companies and competing with bigger companies actually. Competition is good, and uh, our uniqueness is that uh, our solutions are very, uh, uh, very efficient, very cost-effective. Uh, at the same time, uh, cloud on the go. So that is what our uniqueness is. So, how many countries do you serve? As of now, uh, we we serve I think, I think nine countries. Wow. Uh, nine countries and still growing to uh, growing much more. There are, Clients in pipeline. Uh, we have a target of reaching uh, 25 countries in the next three years. Next oh, years. Wow. That's that's the biggest vision mission of an OSS seems and that, that all that come true. So my next very very important question. This is in the Kanyakumar district and this is the southernmost tip of India and we don't have a lot of big names here. But uh, among but Fino is different. Now, Fino yeah. is, is a very big, big name now. Even if we present about Fino is in some other region, yes, we know Fino is. That's the kind of growth this company had. So, what is the secret sauce behind it? Or what is the expectation that uh, this southernmost it can also evolve as a. Uh, the first, uh, I'll answer uh, uh, southernmost it company. Uh, there, are, there are opportunities outside here. Why not a company from Kanyakumari can grow to a great place? So that's the belief I have. Uh, that's how the vision I started in Nagarpuri. Even though there are people who suggested me why not use to uh, open in Chennai or why not to open in Bangalore, then Kanyakumari. Uh, I thought that I would do that here. There are people working for me and paid and they do the expenses here and building a separate ecosystem here. So that is one of the key things uh, we are trying to do in Kanyakumari. Uh, the second thing is that uh, growing, uh, everybody knows uh, you know, as, uh, that is good to hear that. Uh, we, are, we don't want to be the traditional company uh, here. Uh, we want to be a cult brand. So uh, we always focus on becoming a cult brand uh, just with uh, clients, just with um, our talents, uh, just with um, uh, everyone uh, we know. So we don't want to follow in the conventional or traditional way. Uh, traditional framework, what everybody painted as this is our company. Uh, we wanted to be something different. We, we always wanted to be different. And that makes us unique and that makes us cult, I believe. That cultness was there uh, it's in everything. Uh, so, my next question is like, you know, once someone has completed their course, everyone has a first wish that they, they need to work for somebody, they need to work for someone, here money. But of course, entrepreneurship sometimes it might be a stake in business. You need to invest money, you need to invest your passion, you need to invest your time into this. Uh, 
uh, as a founder and all these things come up. You need to invest a lot of things. Uh, you need to sacrifice a lot of things to be a uh, to be a founder. So in that sense, how do you have? Uh, how do you take that risk-taking ability positively? I mean, the risk you have undergone across these years. See, uh, everything is a risk. Even living the life itself is a risk. So everybody is taking a risk every day. Crossing a road is a risk. But still, that's how uh, we can move to the next next level of life. So, uh, so your body will comedy monthly. I wanted to say that this kind of level I'm across the top. So that's that's how it should be. I believe. Uh, uh, risk taking is good, uh, but it should be a calculated risk. I took calculated risk. It's not some blind risk I took. I took a very 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 calculated risk. Uh, quitting my high paid job, coming down to Kanyakumari, uh, starting my own venture. Everybody around me called crazy that I am doing something uh, craziness. What of my craziness? But now when they, when they see that I'm growing, uh, the business is growing, uh, the team has increased, clients have increased everywhere. Now my brother is saying, "I am a couple of years ago, we were doing really growth." So that talks will will actually come up. So uh, so it's all happened because I take I took a uh, calculated risk. That's why. Uh, sir, the my my next question, like you know, you are one of the fan favorite uh, uh, founder of Kanyakumari district. You know, you you travel across colleges, you meet lot of students. Even you know, even I personally know students when I refer your name. Yes, uh, I know him. He is such a nice person. You know, you are a fan favorite of students. So, uh, wh- how what is your message to the student community as a startup? Uh, uh, first of all, I. Uh, I need students because uh, I love teaching. One thing. The second thing is that while you teach, you learn. They ask questions which will trigger your thoughts uh, uh, to a greater extent. So uh, that is why I talk to uh, go to different colleges and uh, uh, explain what is a startup about. That is the first thing. Second thing is that uh, I I want more entrepreneurs to come. I I I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So uh, there was no guidance in that. So I want to be a guide and mentor for someone who's really uh, into entrepreneurship. Uh, second thing, and third thing, as you asked, uh, uh, we, we, uh, all I wanted to say is that uh, to the young students and uh, uh, next level of uh, uh, entrepreneurs or entrepreneurship uh, aspirants, stay hungry, stay foolish. Utal dalma yoshtiya dinu. Uh, we'll, we'll reach some day to the some heights. So that's what I wanted to say. Uh, so one final question. And this program is on behalf of Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. And this uh, year session will be viewed by faculties across the nation who are attending this online faculty development program. So to that, to those faculties who are attending this program, what is your message to them? Uh, faculties have a problem with it. Uh, uh, They judge a book by its cover, kind of. Uh, uh, if someone didn't study well, they think they he cannot succeed in life. But uh, I would ask a person here uh, whether uh, the the person who got hundred percentage mark did they succeed in life? Uh, no. So that is one of the key things I would say. Don't judge a book, uh, a book by its uh, cover. You have the faculties uh, should bring the. Uh, unleashed potential of a person, unleashed potential of a student. That should be the case, I believe. Uh, so if you do that, yeah, the student can reach uh, to a great extent. You should find their inner talents, encourage their talents, and uh, make them grow. So, sir, how the people can reach you? I mean, uh, students or faculty or any companies, or how they okay. can reach you? Reach you? Yeah, they can. They can. Uh, they can connect me through the. Connected sources. I am available on uh, Facebook. I am available on LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, they can text me over there. But but I'll not get much of a time to spend with these people. I get a lot of requests uh, in Facebook, LinkedIn, and all. A very limited time. But someone who's precise and someone who I might find uh, uh, much more uh, uh, interesting, I'd be more than happy to discuss uh, the ideas and things. And I'd be more than happy to mentor and guide. 
Thank you so much, sir, on behalf of the Department of Science and Technology, on behalf of uh, MIT Group of Institutions, on behalf of uh, me, <laughs> on behalf of my entire team, I just want to thank you for uh, spending this time with us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sir.